GSC Game World is back with another trailer of Stalker 2. After a challenging period and hardships, the devs have been experiencing due to the ongoing events in the Ukraine. The new trailer gave us a fresh look at the game's current state and left us with many things to comment on. The new trailer, although it's only 2 minutes long and probably didn't make any astronomical announcements about Stalker 2, but still there are a few things here to be said about it. The first important piece of information is the release date, which is now confirmed and is going to launch somewhere in 2023. It was unknown due to the fact that the devs had to face a lot of obstacles during their game development as they're based in Ukraine and we all know what happens there. Now it's all clear. Alright, so how's the trailer looking? Well, there is much shown in it. We got some light shed onto the story though, which might be somehow associated with God and religion. However, it's still unclear what awaits us in the terms of story in Stalker 2. The narrator through the trailer reveals a bit of what led us to the current state of Stalker 2 world, but it would be bold to assume anything for certain from his words. The point of this trailer was quite different and it was to show us the astonishing graphics and well, which actually seemed to be like a from a 20 2023 game. The devs made a perfect work to represent the post apocalyptic world with a raw and harsh environment and a dark, hollow tone of the game. There are plenty of great sceneries showcased in the span of two minutes, giving the impression of the really careful and attention to detailed design of the surroundings. They also managed to present us with plenty of sceneries with completely diverse patterns and compositions, which makes the world feel much more vivid and diversified. You just simply gotta watch this trailer on your own so that you can feel feel as amazed as I was, and probably a mess of other people also did too. We still don't know how our computers will handle this production, well, it's delusional to assume the frame rate from a possibly pre-rendered and enhanced for the sake of hyping the audience parts of the game. Remaining in the recent trailer releases, as 2023 kicked off, a completely unexpected teaser came out, Overkill, the developers of Payday games, finally teased and somewhat of confirmed the release date of Payday 3. This short clip did didn't really reveal anything special about the game, however it seems the new installment is going to take place in New York City. The developers also added some description on the Steam platform for Payday 3, which is as follows. Several years after the crew's reign of terror over Washington DC has ended, they assemble once again to deal with the threat that roused them out of early retirement. There is no narrow launch window for Payday 3, although 2023 is definitely going to be the year of this game. So, we are all aware that the current trend is to remake games and simply make them accessible for the younger generation as well as upgrade the experience for the veterans of particle titles. However, the Horizon Zero Dawn devs had a completely different approach to the subject. Reportedly, relying on a trustworthy game inside and Colin Moriarty, the Zero Dawn remake is in the works made by a studio aside from Gorilla Studios. You heard it right, a remake, not a remaster, let alone definitive edition. This seems like a completely bizarre idea, whereas this game runs and presents itself better than 90% of available productions out there. The intention is supposedly to make the remake exclusively for PlayStation 5, but why? Why Sony? Why? This makes even less sense when the next gen update has been released recently, and well, the game works razor sharp. 2023 is going to be a year of announcements and new releases, and it couldn't be different with Konami. The company behind the popular horror game franchise Silent Hill may have several more Silent Hill games in development that have not yet been announced to the public. This information comes from Dusk Golem, a well-known leaker who has a history of accurately predicting developments in the gaming industry. According to Dusk Golem, there are at least three more Silent Hills projects currently in development that have not been revealed by Konami. This would bring the total number of Silent Hill projects in development to eight if we include the four that were announced at the Silent Hill transmission event in October, as well as the leaked project known as Silent Hill The Short Message. It is important to know that the accuracy of Dusk Golem's leaks has sometimes 
has been called into question, nonetheless the possibility of multiple new Silent Hill games in development will likely be exciting news for fans of this horror franchise. Despite not being as large or successful as some other gaming franchises, Silent Hill has a devoted fanbase and the announcement of multiple new projects would certainly be welcomed. Regardless of the reason, Silent Hill fans will surely be pleased with the prospect of more content to look forward in the future. And so are rumors about video game developer Fumito Ueda, another crazy name, known for his work on popular titles such as The Last Guardian and Shadow of the Colossus, has hinted at the possibility of a new game announcement in 2023. In an interview with Famitsu, Ueda indicated that he and his team at Game Design are working towards making an announcement in the coming year and ask fans to continue supporting their efforts. Game Design has been notoriously secretive about their current projects, but it is known that it will be published by Epic Games and will be a completely new unrelated game. The news of a possible announcement has generated excitement among the fans as it has been 6 years since the release of The Last Guardian and many had hoped that Gen Design would make an announcement at the 2022 Tokyo Game Show which did not come to fruition. 